Okay, I don't know if anybody wants to add a table to their website and um, I did a really small one just so that, and I can leave the code out on the screen here, but if this might be um, a problem solver for lots and lots of images um, and a table, so these are old garbage images. So they're small, they're thumbnails taken from the university a long time ago. I use those for another project so they don't match. They don't do anything, but they're just images. Um, but you can add, so just like a table with anything else, um, I can have a picture and then I can have a row that's, you know, an added row in between here and then I can label them. So if I wanted to have a label for the drum, a label for the oval, a label for the clock tower, um, I can and then I've got, you know, pictures there. So there's all sorts of different ways or you can put the label within the same cell and then that would make it hold to that picture and the cell. Um, anyway, so the how to insert a table, I'll go ahead and roll down to the section here where I added a table. And you can have either a border with the table or not a border, doesn't really matter. Um, but you can go to add a table, you can insert, and then there's table. Um, I can tell it how many rows and how many columns I want. I can designate a certain width if I don't want it to be any larger than that. Uh, the border is just the cell borders, so it's a single pixel black stroke, and it's everywhere. It's inside, outside. Um, cell padding and cell spacing. So there's going to be padding within a cell and then padding kind of between cells. So you can identify that here, but I can also identify that through cascading style sheets. Um, and then the header, so if you have both a top and left header, sort of like a financial um, type of arrangement, I guess, um, you could have, you know, both. Uh, for accessibility, you can add a caption, you can add a summary of what, you know, like alt text, so this would be caption for um, the table itself, so that's available, I'll go ahead and cancel that. And then the other thing that's nice, um, I went to my styles and I created a couple of uh, tables. So what I want to happen with the table, um, I can identify a cascading style sheet to do exactly that. So for my table, I can have width and height. So all the, the different settings that you've been working with already, um, it just can be applied to the table. And to center it within, remember how we center everything left to right in the center? I did exactly the same thing with my margins. I can set an auto margin left and an auto margin right. And rather than it being you know, shoved to the left, my table is now centered between, no matter what size it is. Um, I can add you know, some padding and such. So I think for the table itself, um, I really only set the left to right margins. And then the table, so how these are formatted, the table body is, you know, the table and the table body have opening and closing tags. Um, I'll go to my source code, whoops, let me see here. Code view so you can see the whole thing. So you can see I've got an opening table tag and a closing table tag. Um, it's got the border identified as one, but I sure could remove that and put the border. Remember how there's border options? And I can change the style of the border, I'll change the color. Um, so I don't have to have the border there. And then again, there's an opening table body, closing table body. But similar to columns and rows, remember how you've got one row and you might have three columns in there? Okay, and then a second row with three columns. So that's kind of similar to what I have here. I've got a table row, um, and within my table row, I've defined three cells. So table definition or uh, whatever. And I've just put pictures in there. But I could put some type in there too. So, um, and then what I did with my, again, I can identify what I want to do within my table body, just table rows. But I went ahead and I said, no, I want table body, table rows, and the cells themselves, the table definition, to be a specific width, 200 wide, so it won't go smaller than that, it won't go bigger than that. 
um, and a height. So maybe I don't want it to size out strange. So I went ahead and put a height in there. And maybe I want a black uh, color. So I maybe with my pictures, I feel like black looks pretty good as a background. So I want to put a background there. Um, and then I want them so the padding could be increased or decreased if I want them all to be 10 pixels. Whoops, I want to link that. So I could change that to 10 and everything then would be larger. They can float next to one another if they need to wrap. And again, I've de described my background. Um, oops, split view. So if I do a file, save all, because I just made my changes. So we can see what that looks like in a browser. So at full screen, you know, it's it's little because I've designated as being fairly small. Um, but then as I size it down, uh, I can it's they're held a little bit. There's they do break. Um, and again, with columns, so I you can work with columns or you can work with tables. But I don't know if that is a way to handle some of the data um, or the images that you have and to keep them in a, I guess, a, a, a similarly sized fashion um, because I can control the size of the cell. Now, not all my images are exactly the same size, but I'm controlling the size of a cell. So I don't know if that is a help. No. Okay. 